Hello Makers! Welcome back to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe, and today we're going to talk about Polyalchemy Elixir series. Stick around! Welcome back Makers! So as you can see in front of me, I've been quite busy. Uh, what happened was about a week and a half ago, I was on Twitter and I saw that a certain company had a special offer on filaments. Obviously, when I hear a special offer, I want to look into it. So the company was Polyalchemy and they were offering a 10% off on their spools. After looking into their filaments and some photos, I was actually quite impressed because all their filaments have a particular attribute and that is they look like silk or satin. So I went online, I went on their site, I placed an order for a few spools and then noticed that they do not ship to Malta. So I went back on Twitter, I let them know, I just sent a tweet out and told them, listen, unfortunately, I cannot purchase any filaments because you don't ship to Malta. I think it took about seven and a half minutes for me to get a reply back on Twitter with a check now. Lo and behold, Malta was at it. it. I placed the order. Two days later, from China to Malta, the filaments arrived. And since they got here, I haven't stopped printing. I was extremely excited. Now what you'll notice in front of me is that most of the models are taken off my mini factory Scan the World because this particular filament is, is just it's so so beautiful that it requires intricate models in order to really really set it off so i got the filaments and i contacted the company and they got back to me with the um, factory file for simplify 3d on the Joseph prusa i3 mark ii which I thought was absolutely mind-blowing. So I downloaded it, I uh, ran it through Simplify 3D, and I threw my first model in, which was the uh, Geyer Anderson kit, which is um, Maker's Muse favorite uh, model to print. And I can see why. Right off the bat, this thing is gorgeous. The sheen on the filament is absolutely beautiful. Now these are printed at 50 millimeters a second and the layer height is 0.14 millimeter. Now this, these settings are the uh, settings that have been sent to me by Polyalchemy themselves, which means they, I'm sure they got the, the optimal settings. The only problem with this particular print is that I forgot to switch off the feature in Simplify 3D where it uh, automatically reduces the speed once the uh, layer speed or layer time goes below, I think it was about 15 seconds. So what happened is it started overheating the filament uh, around the ears. And unfortunately it wasn't perfect. But other than that, it is absolutely gorgeous. So once I tried the silver elixir, I also wanted to try the aqua blue and the skin. So I grabbed the same profile and replicated it on the Tronxy and also on the Wanhao Duplicator i3+. Plus. I threw the Aqua Blue on the Tronxy and I printed it out this Julia vase and it came out absolutely gorgeous. The, the only thing that I can see that's wrong with this vase is over extrusion. Now the reason for that is the profile that was set for the Prusa i3 Mark II has an extrusion multiplier of 1.09. I actually used the same settings, then I later realized that those weren't the right extrusion multiplier for the Tronxy. But taking that to the side, everything else it printed out absolutely beautifully. Now, while that was printing, as I said, I also threw in the skin elixir on the Wanhao Duplicator i3+. Plus. Once again, slightly over extruded. As always, once in a while, the Wanhao Duplicator i3+, Plus decides to miss a bit of extrusion steps. Nothing major, 
I still think it turned out absolutely great. This is a statue of Buddha, which I also found on my mini factory. And I was quite happy with that. Then, once I tried those three colors, I obviously wanted to print something in orange. The orange is quite beautiful. So I went back to my mini factory and I found a replica of a statue of King Sesostis. I think Sesostis is called. And I decided, okay, perfect. It doesn't have a lot of overhang, so a little bit of support. So let me try it out. I printed this on the Prusa i3 Mark II, always with the same settings that were sent to me by Polyalchemy. And it came out absolutely great. Granted, there's a bit of Z-banding, but nothing major. It, it, I, I still think it, it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Once I had the orange on the Prusa i3 Mark II, I wanted to obviously print something else. So I went back to my mini factory and I downloaded the uh, Triceratops skull. Now, the only difference with this Triceratops skull is that I printed this in 0.2 millimeter layer height, not 0.14. I just wanted to see how much of a difference in the finish those 0.06 millimeters would make. They actually make quite a lot of difference. While it came out absolutely beautiful, the uh, the sheen is not just just not the same. It's really not the same. So if you decide to print with this filament, I highly suggest you keep the factory standards of 0.14 millimeters. Yes, it might take longer to print, but it'll be absolutely worth it. Then I decided to start testing out again on the trunk scene. I still had the blue under, so I decided to print the uh, head bust of Nefertiti also from my mini factory. I pulled down the extrusion multiplier on this to one just to see the difference. I had already started seeing a huge improvement from the Julia vase. It wasn't perfect, so I thought to myself that it could still need some dialing down and um, I went ahead on Simplify 3D. What I did was I dialed down the settings to 0.95 for on the extrusion multiplier. I reduced the heat from 205 on the hot end to 200 and I slowed down the speed to 35 millimeters a second from the standard 50 millimeters a second and I printed this elephant. Now this elephant, I was kind of speechless when I saw it. This is also from my mini factory. It, I dare to say that this came close to being perfect. And what's even more amazing than that is that it came off the trunk seat, which is extremely, extremely surprising. Once you start slowing down the speeds, it, it produces some really, really amazing results. And I was absolutely, absolutely blown away with this. I absolutely love it. What I did then, because I had stopped using the OneHow Duplicator i3 Plus, the reason for that was because I broke the spool holder for the Trunksy because it's all acrylic. So I was using the spool holder of the OneHow Duplicator i3 Plus as a spool holder for the Trunksy. <laughs> Anyway, so I went back to the trunk seat and I wanted to test the theory of the speed. So I uh, did Kirby by Chaos Cortec. I printed in the skin elixir, also at 0.14 millimeters in layer height, but at 50 millimeters a second down to 200 degrees. And this kind of confirmed because you can still see ghosting around the eyes and the features of Kirby. But other than that, it printed out absolutely gorgeous. The, the skin is the skin color is very, very light. Um, it has a beautiful sheen to it. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Last but not least, Mighty Joe Kong. Now, this, this is a very special print. This is Mighty Joe Kong. Now, this was printed on the Yosef Prusa i3 Mark II. 
at 0.14 millimeter layer height. I use the standard profile that Polyalchemy have sent me. It took me, I think it took about 22 to 24 hours to print this model. And it came out absolutely amazing. The fact that it uses quite a bit of support was a slight issue. Um, the reason for that is one of the front teeth or one of the front fangs, let's call them, came off. It didn't, it didn't have enough adhesion with itself, so half of it kind of broke off. I can fix it, I will fix it, but for the sake of this video, because I know you guys want to see mistakes, you want to see my mistakes, so we can all learn something from it, I've decided to leave it there. Now this particular model was designed by a very, very good friend of mine, Ryan. You can find him on uh, YouTube and Twitter as 3D Printed Aspie. He is an amazing designer. He has a bucket load of talent and I truly suggest you go check him out. You will not be disappointed. Now I will be linking all these models down here to the video description. I will also upload onto Dropbox the uh, factory file for Simplified 3D for the Prusa and also the one I did for the Tronxy for the ones that want to use it. I can also slightly modify the one that I did for the OneHow Duplicator i3 Plus and upload that as well. The only file here that you will not find is Mighty Joe Kong and there is a very particular reason for that. Ryan has set out to upload this as soon as possible. However, in order to do so, he set a target. He would like to reach 100 subscribers on YouTube or 1,000 followers on Twitter. So I'm gonna link his Twitter account and his YouTube account in the video description. I honestly suggest you follow him because Ryan is also working now on a bust of Venom from Spider-Man and also a bust from the tentacle guy fish pirate from Pirates of the Caribbean. I, I can never remember his name, but please go check him out. Subscribe to Ryan. He does a lot of tutorials. He does live stream while he's sculpting these models on ZBrush. You will not regret it. Trust me, do it. So those are the models that I have for you today. This filament is absolutely awesome. It is quite a particular filament, as in it is very slippery, so I had to tighten the tension on the Prusa i3 Mark II because at some point it was under extruding because it was slipping. Another thing is it has a very particular attribute, as in when you extrude the filament, once it's heated it comes out, but once it starts cooling it kind of implodes back in itself. So it's, it's kind of a rubbery feel when it's, when it's cooling down. Now, Polyalchemy have a very special offer at the moment going on, so I truly suggest you, uh, you go check them out. They have an offer where if you buy two spools, you have, you have free shipping. If you buy three spools, you have free shipping and they'll send you a free half a kilo spool. And if you buy four spools, you get free shipping and two half kilo spools. Now, one spool of one kilo Polyalchemy Elixir PLA costs about $35, so it's absolutely worth it. I do not get commission out of this. I do not get paid out of this. I paid for these filaments. Um, it's just a really awesome filament, and I truly suggest you go buy some because it's an absolutely awesome offer. It should last for another week. Now, from my end, that is all. I want to thank you guys once again for watching. If uh, there is anything you would like to suggest, please leave a comment. Hit the like, uh, subscribe, share, and in the meantime, happy making, guys.